So today we're going to add another bit of our summary status at the top and we're going to add in this in progress done and the visual um, chart that will go alongside this. So you can see I've put a chart in here, um, I've got two columns, two rows, so I've put in progress and done and what I'm going to do is another count if. We've done quite a lot of these now so if you want to know a bit more about them you can just look back some of the previous videos. So I'm going to have my range as the status and it's really simply going to count up either done or in progress. So this box here in my um, quotation marks I'm going to put in progress so it's going to count if um, the column E has the words in progress so at this point it has two and then one um, and then I'm going to do exactly the same in B2 I'm going to do the same count if the same um, area for the test array but this time I'm going to have done so what we will get here is um, a count up of how many tasks that are done and a count up of how many tasks are in progress which is great a really good summary but what I think is even better is to get this a bit more visual so we're going to use these and we're going to add in a chart so we're going to do this stacked chart as you can see here now when you initially put it in you can see that it's not stacked as we would like so we're going to go up to the paintbrush and we're going to edit our reference so we're going to go in a little cog up the top and we're going to plot the columns as a series and then what you can see is that it puts our series on the same bar so that when we um, sort of change it around a bit it will just be a really nice visual for how many tasks are in progress and how many tasks are done so we're just going to shrink it down first of all and then we can just go into that paintbrush section start looking at the sec sections of the chart so um, a really easy one to do first of all is to start to edit the series so you can see we've got the in progress and the done so first of all i'm just going to click into those um, i can then change the fill color so i can mimic the ones that i've got above the colors of the words that i've got above um, and that's a really quick and simple visual so as you're doing things you can see really clearly that how many are done and how many are in progress and then we can go in and we can do some other things we can um, add labels if we wanted to actually see the numbers in there as well you could add those in um, but ultimately what I tend to do is go into the chart and just look at what um, different information I've got so if I've got labels on there I tend to remove the labels so you can see I've gone up to style and labels here I'm just going to remove the showing of labels um, as well and it just makes sure that I haven't got category labels on there as well um, and then it just looks a bit slicker and again I can also go in the grid lines I can take off the grid lines as well so you can see you can change the grid lines around but actually what I want to do is um, just remove them completely so I've taken off the grid lines there and then the only other one that you can um, just take off is that first one as well the axis line and then you've just got a really clear visual for as things moving along so as we tick things that are done um, along the side here or take them off you can see that there's more in progress or more done a really nice visual thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.